Greetings, fellow action figure connoisseurs, and welcome to another episode of Digital Caveman Presents Masters of the Universe Tuesday. I, as always, am your host, the Digital Caveman, and today I will be presenting you with the Masters of the Universe Masterverse New Eternia Manny Faces. Let's get into it! Let's start our theater production with a look at the packaging. And here we have 30 points of articulation, a barcode Masterverse, and that nice sc scrolly, crackly, cracked up stuff that we've become used to on the front. Six and up, nice big window showcasing Manny Faces and all his accessories. Masters of the Universe, New Eternia, Manny Faces, Mattel. On the bottom, small print, fine print, legalese print, made in Vietnam print, mattelshop.com print, contents, one figure, accessories, a question mark, other symbols I don't know, assortment number, and a barcode. On this side, many faces, human, robot, monster. And on this side, some nice artwork of many faces, wearing many of his faces. And then on the back, we have some nice artwork Beep. of many faces in multiple forms. Robot, human, monster. Masters of the Universe, New Eternia, original designs inspired by classic concepts. And then, oh, the tape kind of messed it up. Many faces, human, robot, monster. When Castle Grayskull shattered New Eternia, the mind of an adventurer shattered with it. Now known as Many Faces, his curse forces him into the faces of many beings. From human to monster to robot. Each with its own memory and agenda. Little does he know the combined memories of his many faces are the map for restoring Eternia to glory. And then we have the Cross Sail the Wave, Sorcerers, Many Faces, Shadow Weaver, and Pighead. Also available, Esau Sabri, subject to availability, color and decoration may vary. Mattel, empowering the next generation through play and recycled stuff. That, my friends, is a look at the packaging. Let's take a look at the figure and his accessories and handy dandy tweezers here. He comes with an extra set of fists, which I believe are newly molded. I don't believe we've seen this particular fist before. I could be wrong. They're on in and out hinges, and that goes for both of them. Nice molded details and molded in color, it appears. And he has this nice big blaster that's very, very reminiscent of the original Masters of the Universe Manny Faces gun. And then he has this nice suitcase with a big fat eyeball on it. And unfortunately you can see here stress marks already just from opening and closing this case so you're probably not going to want to do that a whole lot. But it does have some nice molded details on it even on the back side of it. And it does have two posts here, which correspond to two ports in his back. And it does also have a handle so that he can carry it. Now to get it open, it just latches right here. You just lift that up. This piece right here, just lift it up a little bit. And it reveals more accessories, which are three masks. This painted face, this blue face. I think that's blue anyway. I'm colorblind, so don't make fun of handicapped people. And a skull face. And that's in addition to the three faces that are already on the figure. 
and they are swappable and we'll get to that well, let's take a look at the figure itself and overall I have to say it's very very you know it really takes me back to that original Manny Faces figure now it's supposed to turn on this knob up here just like the original but it's really tight and I cannot get mine to do it that way but I will show you an alternate way to do it and also to change the faces but it does have some nice paint apps up here on the arms down here I think and has two like c-grip hands and just some paint apps here and along the back as well and there's the two ports where the case of masks plugs into his back and then oh no Mattel on his butt and again overall I have to say it's really nice nice looking rendition of Manny Faces now honestly the head there's really no movement there other than the spinning motion and again we'll get back to that in a minute so let's talk about the other articulation at the shoulder, he goes, his arm goes up about 90 degrees, I would say. It does have a 360 degree rotation. Also a cut here at the upper bicep for another 360 degree rotation. Double hinged, pinless elbow. Gives you that much bend. And a 360 degree rotation at the wrist on an in and out hinge and in and out hinge for the other as well. Now hidden under these hoses there is a cut where the chest and the abdomen meet and that gives him some hula motion going on there and it will twist a little this way and a little twist a little that way. It may go all the way around. Oh look at that. His goes all the way around. So that's cool. And he can crunch forward that far and then back that far and of course tilt left and right there's another cut here at the waist that gives you another 360 degree rotation there at the hips man he gives you the full splits you thought I was gonna say Monty didn't you kicks forward approximately 90 degrees and back about two steps, I would say. Cut here at the upper thigh for another 360 degree rotation. Double hinged pinless knee. And man, I thought I already freed that thing up. There it goes. If you have this difficulty, remember, put your figure in some hot tap water. Don't warm it up or anything, just run it hot out of the tap. Put the figure in there for about five minutes and that should fix things up. So anyway, at the knee, he gives you that much bend. And then once you get it loose, just bend it back and forth a couple of times, gently, until you're sure it's free. At the ankle, it tilts down that far, tilts up that far. And he does have a forward-facing pin for Rocker. Now, as far as changing Manny Faces' many faces, the outside helmet piece here does remove. And you can see it has a little clip right here and a little clip right here, and they go down in this slot and this slot. So you can turn his head and then put the helmet back on he's got the robot head the monster head and of course the regular Manny faces human face now as far as changing the masks out you gotta get up under the mask and you can see here it's got two little pegs there and then there's two little ports here and 
just line them up, which is not the easiest to do on camera. And then once you get the stuff where you want it, just snap the helmet back into place. And all the helm all the all the helmets. All the faces plug in the same, so I'm gonna put the original faces back in there. And then as far as the case goes, the masks peg in. You can see the two little ports on there and the pegs. They peg in exactly the same as they peg in to Manny Face's head. And you can swing this closed and you can see right here this part clips over this just like that and again stress marks and then the two ports on his back the two posts and there you go Manny Faces got his backpack and his gun and now he's all ready to go do his acting festival in Hollywood. And that, my friends, is a look at the figure and his accessories. It's time for my favorite part of a review, comparisons. And here we have the new Eternia Manny Faces with the new Eternia Battle Armor He-Man and the new Eternia Barbarian Skeletor. Here's New Eternia Manny Faces with New Eternia Beast Man and Revelation Roboto. Here's Manny Faces with our final Masterverse comparison, the 40th anniversary He-Man. And to kick off comparing him to other lines, let's see how he stacks up. From the Marvel Legends series, making his cameo appearance, we have Stan the Man Lee. For our final set of comparisons, here we have New Eternia Manny Faces with from Star Wars The Black Series, the Archive Edition 501st Legion Clone Trooper, and from the G.I. Joe Classified Series, the Hasbro Pulse Exclusive Regal Variant Cobra Commander. For final thoughts on the Masters of the Universe, Masterverse, New Eternia, Manny Faces, I have to say the sculpt on this guy is great. I know there's going to be some reuse of it. They're, they're probably going to do a New Eternia, Trap Jaw, and Roboto, and both of them will reuse these legs. Roboto will probably reuse most of the arms. And Trapjaw might even, well, Roboto too, might even use the uh, crotch piece just to, you know, give it that classic flair, which is exactly what this Manny Faces has. He's way more 
Masters of the Universe classic, not classics, not the line, but the classic version of the character, to me, more than he's really New Eternia, because really, you know, he's basically the same dude, and not much has changed, and I am completely fine with that. Now, the changes that they did make to Manny Faces, let's discuss that for a minute. You know, he does have the face-changing gimmick like the original figure had. He even has the knob on the top that's attached to, to where the faces port to, but it's really, really tight, and I cannot turn it. I don't know that it's designed to do that. You do have to pull... The helmet off and and all that and which that's fine that just means the faces aren't gonna go where you want them to where you don't want them to rather without you you know turning the head or changing the actual face out the fact that he also comes with three extra swappable faces i think is a big big improvement and mattel if you're listening which i know you're not in the future, you could even do an accessory pack with even more swappable face plates for Manny faces. I, for one, would love that. I like the fact that the extra faces do have a case that they come in and he can carry it by the handle or it does port into his back like a backpack. The gun, of course, is you know almost it's it's not completely like the classic gun but it is super super close uh, the paint apps on this guy are really nice and you know they really pop with that metallic sheen that they have on them and overall i have to say you know if you if you are a masterverse fan this is you got to have this guy this, this, other than He-Man, this guy might be the only one in monster mode who can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Beastman until Beastman uses his beast controlling power on him. Well, that does it for the review. I hope that you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. Only support from viewers like you make this programming possible. Each view does count, and I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you for supporting this channel through viewing. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews, or just to help the channel out further, or both, that's even better. And don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified as my new content becomes available. That's a wrap, folks. I'll see you next time.